Hi, this is Fee from Diamond in the Rough and I have another unboxing. So this is from Diamonds on Canvas. This is the boot diamond painting. Um, so this I ordered, got from Diamonds on pa Canvas in the US. Um, fully aware that it's a folded short lint, ca short lint canvas. Uh, sizing, I was actually very surprised about that. I knew it was going to be folded, but I didn't realise how small it was going to be. So the box size is only 12 by 8.5 inches or 30 by 21 centimetres. So I just had that up so you can see the sizing of it. I'm just going to move you a bit now. And okay. Okay, so I open this one up. So this was, I ordered this on the 29th of November, which was a Thursday. It was shipped 1st of December. Actually, I might see if there's something in that one. It shipped on the 1st of December, which is uh, Saturday here. It was listed as being, whoops, outbound with Chicago on Saturday the 8th. Hopefully that's not an envelope. That no, was just card. Sorry for the noise, guys. Okay. Get this open. So yeah, so it went to 8th of December, Chicago. 13th of December, it arrived in Perth, Western Australia, on the Thursday, the 13th of December to their customs and then it sat with customs for a couple of days and it arrived here on Sunday the 16th of December so approximately two and a half weeks to get something from the US so there's been a few things about the boot canvas people have seen it um, I'm just I like to buy from all sorts of vendors you'll find that not often do I buy from the same vendor twice um, so I thought I'd just give this a go, something different. Okay, so details of diamonds on canvas is on here. Uh, she did have a YouTube clip that's since been shut down and I won't go into that. Um, so what did I pay? In US to pay for the diamond painting plus freight cost $69. US convert that to Australian on PayPal and that was a hundred dollars and thirty four cents to get this diamond painting so that's a lot more than you usually pay but I wanted to try it out so she sent a little gift and that gift is oh it's pretty oh paperweight diamond how pretty I got a light that I can shine through that. Hang on. I don't know whether you can hear my partner is outside. What happens when you put the light on it? Very pretty. Um, yeah, my partner's outside on the phone. I was going to do this unboxing tomorrow because today's Monday, the 17th. I was going to do it tomorrow when I had an empty house, but I'm too eager to get into this. So yeah, back on that. It was a hundred bucks hundred Aussie dollars to buy the diamond painting and to um, chip it, freight it. Pretty blue ribbon. So this is a 75 by 75 short length canvas. Now one of the reasons why I looked at this is because I have um, considered and I will say considered, I don't know whether I'd go any further now, I have considered doing my own, getting my own diamond paintings made up. Um, big thing with that is that um, I have, I've travelled and I've got some really nice photos of, that I've taken of animals in South Africa, Egypt, photos in Egypt. So yeah, I was looking at doing the same, doing it with my own personal photos. Because um, you've seen my big Durban custom, if you've seen my clips. So anyway, I'll get on to this. So instructions. 
on there, make plastic pen, so that's giving me the instructions on how to do it, how to roll it. I did notice something, I've got a little diamond on the edge of this. See that? Sparkly diamond on the edge. That's a good cutie. Just trying to look at how to get into this. I like these cutters, love these cutters. I have yet to have damaged anything using that those blades. Okay. So the nervous thing is, I am just going to move the camera again. So I'm just going to pause you there, and I'm going to move the camera to a better position. Okay. Hopefully that's a better position. So, yes, we have the sparkly box. Just going over, looking at the box. All saying household diamond paint. Whoops, hang on. What I will do, that little, just gonna grab that off the side. Gonna keep that. That was on the stuck on the plastic plastic covering. So keep that little dude. I like that one. Okay. So yeah, the instructions are on there. Um, service hotline. And how do I open the box? This way. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me while well, I struggle to get this open. Hang on. If I open the other end and push, there we go. Here it is. 75 by 75 diamond painting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so there's the canvas. Does have a really nice feel to it. But what I will say, hang on, I'll get something white. If I put a piece of white paper, I will say the canvas has got, in comparison, there's actually a yellowish tinge to that canvas. But it does feel, the back of it's nice and soft. I've got a stain on here. Oh no, just a bit of fluff. That's okay. Okie dokie. I'm going to leave that folded up while I go through the contents. So. If anybody actually did see her YouTube clips, storage containers, five. And yet again, we all say, sorry for a crinkling, we all love the crinkling. Most of us love the crinkling, it means it's something new. Okay, so plastic bag. We have the sleeve. So that once I have opened this canvas up, I'll roll it and put it back in there. Okay, standard, very simplified tool kit. Little bit of wax, which on the labels, on the box, as you can see, so I'd say that's the same pattern for these guys. Is that on the exterior of the box? Hang on. Okay. So that represents, so that's even, I'd say that's that little symbol there. Cherish Arts Craft, so I'd say that's their logo. Okay, and tweezers. Paper clips, that's, if you open the year of plastic bags, the idea is to use the paper clips to um, close them back up. I'll put that there, that in the box. And let's go through here. Here we go. Off for the crinkling. When I find the right end, I open it. I keep it. Oh dear. Guess my dog keep you towing through. 
just having a look. What I'm looking at is just trying to see is there a code on this anywhere? Just trying to look on the canvas for any coding because no, nope, can't see it. Uh, do, 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 do. Excuse me while I try and figure this one out. Okay, what we've got is six. So it's seven nine zero one eight. So I've got seven nine zero one eight on. Focus. So the seven nine zero one eight. Let's say is the coding for this diamond painting. Uh, DMC codes. I am hoping they are DMC codes. Have this diamond painting up. They look like they're DMC codes. So cruise through there's the AB diamonds do, do. I've had AB diamonds before and as gorgeous as they look I will say this much they can be a pain in the backside because they don't take long where's the other one there we go so there's the other AB diamond you can see that okay so, uh, quick look at the canvas. I was going to go through the drills, but I'll put them back in the bag. I'll go through the drills once I've opened the canvas up. There's no inventory sheet. Not stressed about that. What I will be doing though is looking at these bags and trying to identify the bags themselves. There is some pretty colours. There is static <laughs> and as I will say with this ordering this way one of my biggest concerns is if I run out of drills who do I contact that is the biggest one of all I do have well actually I do have a place where I go to to grab drills I actually took a drive there today it was a three hour round trip to pick up some drills for three two diamond paintings that needed to be completed okay i just need to get this out the way okay so oh whether i can get this diamond painting up high enough bear with me a second move my beads okay this is quite so this is a 75 by 75 it is very soft I will say there's a big crease in the corner there the creases um, don't upset me I will say that much the creases don't upset me because when I work with a diamond painting I work from top to bottom and might work with some big ones and the bottom of the diamond paintings I'm always creasing them up on the normal ones so they don't concern me but if I stretch that out a bit there was a crease there pretty it's still pretty big crease can you see it yeah you can just see that the indent there that won't take much to actually sort out Okay, so I'm going to take you for a ride while we take this down. I need to put this cover back on. Just doing that, I've lost most of the fold there. So creases don't bother me at all. If the glue was puckered, yes, I don't like puckered glue because you've got to muck around with that a lot more. Right. 
biggest thing. It's a big canvas, so trying to deal with it this way is it's not actually fitting on my desk fully. I've got a big desk, but it's not fitting on my desk to be able to do this easily. Sorry for the noise. Here we go. Okay. And I just need to deal with the bottom corner, which I messed up. Okay, so there we go. Yes, there's still folds in there, you still see them. For me though, whoops. Can you see the folds there? Beautiful, beautiful feel up to the canvas though on the back. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Actually, I will show you. This is what happens when I diamond paint. So that's at the top. If you look down, I always work with them crawling. My canvases always roll around. Okay, so now to bring you down while I do the inv quick in do the inventory check as quickly as I possibly can. The issue with this inventory check is they are not in order. And that's what gets me. So for me to work my way through these, I need to do a fair bit of work. Try and get these in their order. That's the A, B, that's the A, B. So I'm gonna fly through these bits um, actually before I fly through this bit I'm going to bring you down actually I'll bring the canvas up to okay those symbols there don't look too bad um Question is, how do they look under a light pad? Uh, where's my plug? Bear with me while I pull my big ass light pad out, which is how a cable is there. Quite light. Okay, so if I actually, I'm going to bring you down because it's easier with the light pad. That's with the plastic on. I take the plastic off. They do look a bit faint. They do look like they're going to be hard to read. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I did. Uh, you may not have noticed. I did have to uh, stop there because my other half came in the uh, door. Okay, so what I'm looking at so that's I'm thinking that's 400. So this for anyone that's trying to organize stuff, there's 400. So Try and make sure you've got everything here. It's going to take me a while. So I'm going to work through that one now. Uh, work through my numbers. And then um, and I'll speed this section up. And then I will uh, uh, get back to you once that's all done.
Okay, so I've just gone through and uh, put these all into numerical order. If I run out of drills, I'm in trouble. Okay, because these are not DMC coats. So what I haven't seen is anyone actually do an inventory and have a look. These are not DMC coats. If you can find 085 as a DMC. One oh three two as a DMC. There's no DMC codes. So no DMC codes. So what I've had to do is organise these into number order. And what I will do once I've done number order, I will now start putting them into this order to make sure that I have them all. And then how I'm going to organise from there, I don't know to do the diamond painting. So I am actually feeling a little bit frustrated at this point. A lot of the other stuff didn't worry me, but this is, this is. So I make labels. I'm actually going to have to photocopy this uh, to make my labels because there's no inventory sheet. There's no numbers required that I need here. So I, hopefully I've got enough. But I'll work my way through from a 146, work my way down put these all in order of this chart and yeah now my frustrating my frustration is actually showing because these are not DMC numbers there's no organization at all to say what they are um, I, I, when I finish with these drills I won't be able to do anything with them okay because I won't match them up I do not match up if there's no DMC codes I will not match up so therefore these will go basically in the bin once I've done 147 145 unless somebody else wants them <laughs> message me put it in the comments you want the want them 235 or if there's anyone else that's doing these and um, at the end of it you need more drills I think we need to get in contact with each other to say hey I've got leftovers or I haven't got leftovers. Uh, one, four, nine. Yeah, so I, I'm frustrated at how that's been done. Really frustrated. Um, one, 60, I actually already do see a pattern here 403 I think the labels are based on the highest number of drills by the look of it so keep going 1037 1037 100. Okay, I need to push these up. Just to keep those up. 400, 1044. Three seven three. Three seven three. That's really weird. Three seven three. One oh 
Two five eight one three one. Oh, and you're probably hearing me sighing because I'm I'm just. Pointed. 401 86 1 1 3 2 85 87 9 4 4 Two, 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 five, six, one, oh, five, oh, one, oh, three, two, ninety. Two ninety eight, nine seventy two, three six six, three five seven. Forty two five five nine oh five A one one oh three and then G31 and G9. Okay. So, my brain trying to work this out. What we've got is these are, this key here is by size. So, 146 is the, so 146 has the most. And the A103 has the least. So I'm just going to look at the first two just to try and see. Okay, so the first three, if we look at it, focus, okay, 146, 24.8, 389, 24, 358, 23.6. So there we go, that's, that's where you can see it's packed by weight fingers crossed that weight's correct <laughs> because replacement drills is going to be hard um, and hopefully hopefully these bags these numbers hopefully if I ring that number I'll be able to get assistance if there's anything uh, I have to worry about Okay, so what I was going to do, put those aside. Before I put this away though, um, I will need to take pictures of this or um, and be able to talk and create my own labels. But, just want to check. 
<laughs> okay so I will say this much if the plan is that this diamond painting goes back in this bag when you've got it rolled okay if I roll that actually I will roll it and have a look all right bear with me while I roll this as it's supposed to be rolled Oof, it's pretty hard to roll it's pretty stiff okay so <laughs> very bad job of rolling it because I'm gonna take it out again but put the canvas in there canvas is right to the end okay there's the bag I actually like the idea that you could roll it back roll it up and store it in the bag it's gonna hang out this bag is not big enough so it's a 75 by 75 canvas and the bag you're going to try and get it into excuse the noise of my keys when you close the bag up the bag closed will be 67 centimeters so it's definitely not going to fit a 75 centimeter so that bag in itself is too small but I do like the picture I like the feel of the canvas um, I will enjoy doing it I will get frustrated because of the uh, there's no rhyme or reason to symbols of the symbols um, which will affect the uh, OCD side of things but I'll work my way around that the symbols let's have a look some of the paler colors so you can read them bit of a glitter to the canvas let's take that off you, you can once it focuses in when you're looking at your symbols you know what you're looking at so you that's almost a mercedes-benz one so the black one <laughs> you, you, you'd be able to tell you can work with it i believe i could work with it um but yeah my biggest issue with this canvas I'm going to be constantly trying to get the ripples out of the plastic but that'll be fine I'll check replace that with parchment paper but my biggest issue is the drills itself the canvas might be good if what you know the canvas does feel good but 100 bucks definitely not definitely not worth it um, see what it looks like when it's done I suppose um, so yeah my little bit of a review on this one um, I like the picture happy with the picture my issues with the drills if I if I don't have drills if I run out of drills what's going to happen where do I order from because they are not DMC codes so yeah um, so yeah there we go and I will um, leave it there and I will talk to you later and uh, thanks for watching and um, please uh, like and subscribe hit the bell you'll get notified whenever I upload anything so yeah thanks for that bye